David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus this week. And this week we're at Vietnam Veterans Park. And we're going to introduce you to this brand new memorial out here. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. Got lots of great information on today's show. So grab that pen and paper. You write the contact info down. But if you miss anything, no problem. Just go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. And all the info is right there. Today, CTW introduces a very important addition to Vietnam Veterans Park, the Vietnam Veterans Monument. At a ceremony on October 15th, the Cabarrus Veterans Coalition dedicated the monument, etched with the names of 29 Cabarrus County Vietnam veterans who gave their lives during the war. Since the county dedicated the park as Vietnam Veterans Park in 2014, the coalition has worked in partnership with the county to raise funds for and install the monument as a permanent tribute to the fallen soldiers. Vietnam Veterans Park's 90 acres of natural beauty and passive recreational activities offer a tranquil home for this monument. The park features freestanding bench swings, a boardwalk, a 1.2 mile walking trail, wetlands trail, nine hole disc golf course, playgrounds, four picnic shelters, sand volleyball courts, two basketball courts, and restrooms on site. So the next time you walk the trails or enjoy a picnic at Vietnam Veterans Park, stop by the monument to pay tribute and reflect. For more information on Vietnam Veterans Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash ALP or call 704-920-3484. Now, if you stay tuned a little later in the show, we're going to actually show some highlights from the memorial itself. Now, you think about art crosses all generations. Well, an intergenerational take on arts is currently on display at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. That has happened through November the 15th. Now, the Sweet Arts Art Show exhibits all kinds of from ages five and older in all different categories like heritage, literary, recycled, and visual arts. So art speaks across many languages and cultures and ages. The Sweet Art Art Show transcends kind of social boundaries and age and gives everyone a platform to show their interpretation of art. So for more information on the Sweet Arts Show through November 15th, Bears County Senior Center in Concord, just call 704-920-3484. The Cabarrus County Veterans Services Department, along with the Cabarrus County Boys and Girls Keystone Club, pay tribute to veterans on November 11th at 11 a.m. All veterans are invited as area JROTC honors guard, Honor Guard members. Ladies of the Auxiliary and many others honor our veterans with a presentation of the colors, wreath presentation, songs from service, and refreshments. For more information on the Veterans Day program, November 11th at 11 a.m., Boys and Girls Club of Cabarrus County, that's at 247 Spring Street, Northwest in Concord. Call 704-920-2869. Do you have ancestors who were soldiers? Well, don't let their stories stay untold. You can learn how to use Fold 3, Heritage Quest, and other library resources to kind of discover military records from past generations. That's pretty cool. Now, Finding Soldier Stories is Wednesday, November the 9th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the library. You can uncover maybe your relative service. So for more information on Finding Soldier Stories, November the 9th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. Totally understand. Yeah, well, that's Charlie Brown's teacher <laughs> inviting you to Snoopy's Thanksgiving feast at the Kannapolis branch of the library, November 3rd, 4 p.m. Kids ages 4 to 12 will make crafts, read stories, and watch Peanuts and the gang celebrate Thanksgiving. A traditional Snoopy dinner follows the fun. It's not Thanksgiving without buttered toast, pretzels, Ooh. and popcorn. For more information on Snoopy's Thanksgiving feast at the Kannapolis branch of the library, November 3rd, 4 p.m., Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash OnCTW or call 704-920-1180. Okay, kids. Now, don't let all the adults have all the voting fun. Now, it's your turn. Well, maybe not for president, but your favorites. Kids ages 6 to 12 are invited to submit their ballots during Kids Vote on Tuesday, November the 8th, right there, vote day. 11 a.m. to noon at the Concord branch of the library. Finally, we'll all get to know that dying big question, what's better, pizza or burgers? Pizza. Oh, burgers. Okay, for more information, kids vote November the 8th, 11 a.m. to noon, Concord branch of the library. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2050. 
The City of Concord invites runners of all abilities to the Veterans Salute 5K on Saturday, November 5th, 9.30 a.m. in downtown Concord. The race starts and finishes on Means Avenue. You can register online at concordparksandrec.org. The cost is $15 in advance or $20 on race day and only $10 for veterans. Mm, that's great. For more information or to register for the Veterans Salute 5K, November 5th at 9.30 a.m. in downtown Concord, visit concordparksandrec.org or call 704-920-5600. Now, David, a few minutes ago, we shared that there was a ceremony right here at Vietnam Veterans Park on October 15th to dedicate the monument we have here with us. We'd like to take a few minutes and show you a little bit of that moment. Today is about the 29 men from Cabarrus County who went to Vietnam and gave their lives in service to the United States of America. It's also about the families who they left behind. The thing that I really want to stress today is how much we owe our Vietnam veterans as veterans of foreign of wars after that. You know, when I came back from Desert Storm, the people that greeted me in Bangor, Maine, most of those people were Vietnam veterans. And the reason they were there is because they said with our war, they weren't going to let that happen to us, what happened to them. These gentlemen that we honor today are 29 of the fiber that binds this country together that is sown by blood, sweat, and tears that each and every one of you out here that are veterans have put forth to take care of our country. If you'd like to see longer and more highlights of the dedication, we're gonna have that on channel 22, but we're also gonna have it on our YouTube channel. So you just go to cabarruscounty.us slash Cabco TV, and the media page comes up, and if you check on special events, that thumbnail, it'll show you right there. Now the gallery is gonna present their largest pottery ex exhibition and sale, November 11th through the 21st, that's the Clay Exhibit 2016. It encompasses a wide variety of styles and glazes, uh, includes everything from utilitarian to sculptural pieces, including some very large vessels as well. Now, North Carolina artists will showcase their work, and many are from the popular Seagrove area. Now, pop, you know, pottery uh, makes a great, unique holiday gift, of I course. often use it for gifts for weddings, especially oh, people yeah. out of state. They don't know what's natural and native oh, to our area, yeah. so use the Seagrove pottery. That's cool. The galleries are open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So for more information on the new exhibit, Clay 2016, visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2787. Now what do you do with all those tried and true favorite recipes? Mm. Well, join the Canapolis branch of the library on Tuesday, November 8th from 6 to 7 p.m. for a DIY recipe book. Oh, wow. DIY. David, what does that stand for? <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> it's a throwback for the long fans. The long standing fans. You'll create a personalized book that allows you to organize all of your yummy favorites. All supplies are provided. For more information on the DIY recipe book, November 8th, 6 to 7 p.m., is at the Kannapolis branch of the library. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. Now, where can you learn Tai Chi, mm -hmm. ballroom dancing, hula dancing, and sign languages all for minimal fees? Well, that would be the Cabarrus County Senior Center, of course. Registration now is open for session number eight. This five-week session begins November the 14th. Just ask for your session eight guide at the front desk of the Senior Center. For more information about session eight classes beginning November the 14th, Cabarrus County Senior Centers, just call 704-920-3484. The popular Dancing for the Arts event returns to the Davis Theater on Saturday, November 12th at 6 p.m. Community stars and their professional dancing partners spent the summer perfecting their routines and are vying for your vote. This must-see event puts everyday citizens on the stage and out of their element. Oh. Come cheer them on. Tickets are $125, but that includes cocktail buffet and the Dancing Under the Stars oh, after yes. party. Oh. For more information or to purchase tickets to Dancing for the Arts, November 12th, the Davis Theater, visit cubarisartscouncil.org or call 704-920-2787. Now, food and fun is how the town of Mount Pleasant celebrates the fall. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Now, the first ever fall festival and polar 
Pig Cook-Off is November the 11th and 12th. Two categories, cooking, puts grills to the test. We've got a Master Series and a Backyard Cook-Off. Now, I hear That'd that this will be packed with some really great teams because it's one of the last chances to get in for oh, the big qualifying for the big event. Qualifying. Yeah, ah, for the yeah. big national event. I like going to those. So great barbecue. Mm -hmm. Now, cash prizes awarded to the first five teams. Now, check out the cooking competition and kind of uh, peruse the various vendors of this family-friendly event. So, for more information on the Fall Festival and Polar Pig Cook-Off, November 11th and 12th, town of Mount Pleasant, visit mountpleasantnc.org or call 704 436-9803. Election day is approaching and we want you to have all the information as America heads to the polls. The 2016 general election is Tuesday, November 8th and polls are open 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. You can find your polling location and see your sample ballot at cabarrascounty.us slash elections. Voter identification is not required to vote in North Carolina. For more information on the 2016 general election, November 8th, visit cabarrascounty.us slash elections or call 704-920-2860. Cabarrus County government offices, including the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, Department of Human Services, all the library branches, senior centers, the county landfill, household hazardous waste facility, it's all going to be closed on Friday, November the 11th, in observation of Veterans Day. All Cabarrus County Parks, they're going to remain open for you. For more information on Veterans Day's hours, visit CabarrusCounty.us. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed any of that, all you got to do is go to CabarrusCounty.us slash on CTW, and the info's right there. And the fast track to this info is our newsletter. Just go to CabarrusCounty.us on the top right side of the page. Fill out a little information, or you can text CTW to 22828. And thank you, of course, to all the thousands and thousands of folks who follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You'll see all kinds of really cool information up there. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, you just want to watch our programs when you have a chance, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash Capco TV. That comes a media page with all the information right there. And again, we'll have an extended version of the highlights from the memorial service. They'll be right there under special events. So I tell you what, this is really such a great, I mean, Vietnam, the Vietnam War was my era, and this is really something special that uh, the Vietnam Veterans Coalition put together in the county. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful memorial, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's something that's real special to a lot of people here. And we also want to take our time to thank all of our veterans who are watching today um, for what you've done for our country. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you for your service. And until next week, you have a great one. Take care.